Hey everybody, it's me again and I just thought I was going to do an off the cuff video. So I was sitting here at my laptop doing a little bit of um, um, bits and bobs and I thought, you know what, why don't we kind of look at freelance jobs to see, you know, if I was a mobile developer or when I get to become better skilled at mobile development, what kind of work I could find. Now, if you're wondering, just in case, freelance work are, uh, are sort of quotes or jobs that are, are, are requested by customers. So that could be a personal company and you would do it kind of like as if it, your, your own business, you would put in a quote and then get paid for the work you do. You don't, you don't work for the company. Uh, you, you're sort of self-employed. So uh, there are a number of places online where you can get freelance jobs. I've just picked two up. They're Freelancer and Upwork. These are two big ones that I know too. Uh, and two that I've looked at in the past. I've never looked for this type of work, by the way. So I'm going to be as surprised as you are because I've never seen this one. So as I say, it's a bit off the cuff. So if I was to do browse for jobs, right, let's first look for Flutter because um, it may or may not be that uh, people do put in Flutter. Uh, I'm, I'd be surprised that, you know, you'd look more for, for maybe, you know, mobile applications. But even looking for Flutter, there's a number of uh, jobs that have come back. For example, scene developer, full stack, 19 pound an hour this is potentially one that you work for a, a sort of on a contract for a company and they they've listed flutter as well as zarmin or zarmin or whatever you pronounce that which is a c-sharp mobile development application um and let's see there's flutter and laurel enhancements uh cross-platform app built in flutter using firebase uh flutter developer so you can see here, these are kind of, that one would be like the 160 quid is average bid, four pound an hour, which seems to be a bit cheap for a Flutter um, teacher. There's one which is average bid is 2,700. Um, if you go into one of these, then obviously you get a little bit more detail. So they're non-profit spiritual organization based out of Bangalore. We're looking to, at rebuilding our main mobile app, which is available, the one available in Android and iOS. So interesting stuff, We're interested in complete rebuild. Of the app using Flutter. Cool. Um, mobile developer to build cross platform hybrid app, which is just looked at. Sorry. Reskin, call, call over phone gap and convert it to Flutter. Install app Flux Store Flutter on their PC. So average bid is $76. So you can see the sum, which are kind of, you know, uh, bigger bids which are probably more involved apps and then some of them are, are smaller things which may be like um, to do um, you know like install on, on a local machine or just a small app and some of them are like you know an hourly rate this one that's four dollars an hour seems a bit mm, yes um, let's have a look at that one out of interest <laughs> flutter teacher uh, hey I need a flutter teacher who teach me flutter properly so this is an individual. Um, apparently though, they've actually had three other jobs on here and they've got five star rating. Um, at least that says five there. I, I have to go deeper to look at that. So they've obviously had other things um, against them uh, where people have actually done work with them and given them a good rating. But yeah, $4 an hour to teach someone Flutter doesn't seem like a big, I'd say, go and buy you Demi course. You'll get more bang for your buck and, and I'm sure someone, you know, would, would um, prefer that. Although that said, the budget is, you know, maybe in India, the, the this is a, a good budget. You know, I, I'm not sure, um, obviously the conversion there, but obviously in the UK and, and the US, $4 is not a, a, an amount that people will pick up, I don't think. Um, if we go back, see there's all Android Flutter. So, so if I went to that drop down of Flutter, we can see a lot more things that are uh, Flutter related, I reckon. Um, Flutter full stack developer. Um, if I went for a mobile developer, um, you can see again, 
lots of rolls that are there. So th there seems to be quite a few things on here that you could apply for as a mobile developer um, if you learn Flutter. And you know, some of them, the bigger ones, obviously, $2,000, you've got 23 bids on there, 16 bids on that. And you know, if you don't understand how that works, you get, you can subscribe, I think, to get more bids per month but you get so many bids that you can apply and what you can do is you can you can like these guys you can say i will do this app for this amount of money and obviously you can leave a bit of a, uh, an introduction and everybody sees it so you can see you know uh, the cheapest bid on there um i don't know if it goes down by price three thousand one seven seventeen hundred um five thousand um 1500 that seems to be low so far um, so thanks for reading my proposal I have a ready-made uber taxi app okay 3000 1500 no one there so yeah the cheapest bid seems to be around 1500 and they go up to three five grand it doesn't always mean that the, the most expensive bids are the better developers sometimes people just you know give it a try but you can see also ratings for um them and so on so um all uh, 4.9 5, 4 4.8 5, 4 again I, I, if you're new like these guys like i would be then they have no rating because they're probably new developers um so yeah so if we go to upwork and we went to so uh, if i can spell flutter thank you um let's see searching on upwork there are again flutter developer android flutter developer um flutter developer so yeah there's there's quite a few um jobs available on upwork as well as a freelancer for flutter so there you have it if you want to learn flutter thinking about getting some work then you don't necessarily have to have uh, a deep understanding understanding of Flutter to apply for these roles. Um, there's a probability that if you get your uh, descriptive text good uh, and the price right, that you may actually end up getting some work, even having only sort of learned Flutter for a few weeks. And, and sort of build your knowledge and skill up as you go through uh, a project. So yeah, um, if you're thinking, is it worth me learning Flutter and you're looking to potentially do some work, then uh, there's definitely work out there from what it looks like. It certainly adds interest to me learning uh, Flutter because obviously that's the end goal here. The end goal is to, to start doing more of this type of stuff and be a self-sufficient work from home uh, developer rather than you know uh, rather than having to go into an office five days a week so yeah take a look you might find um, some work for yourselves uh, and uh, this you know gives you maybe hopefully an incentive to to dig deeper and learn more flutter definitely does for me right that's just an off the cuff video. <laughs> just a, a random, I'm gonna have a look at this. Hopefully it's something you've enjoyed. Please, if you've got this far, think about subscribing, liking, all that kind of stuff, you know, the, the join us on this journey kind of stuff. Right, I'm gonna go back to doing some learning and work now, so I'll speak soon in the next video. Bye for now.